Well, it's been a long road for Altfest and a, another huge leap forward today. Warren Wheatley, the founder and chief executive, joins us on a day that Altfest listed on the Johannesburg Stock Exchange. First, it was Cape Town. That didn't work out too well. We'll find out in a moment why. And now on to the JSE. Warren Wheatley is with us. So there we go, Warren. I've now told people twice your name. So I'm sure that everybody knows you from your previous discussions on the Biz News TV channel. And of course, we have um, seen you at all of the Biz News conferences to date. Today's a big day. Uh, but I suppose the question has to be, didn't it work out too well at the Cape Town Stock Exchange? Um, I like the, the, the primary reason for the move um, was we just don't have the luxury of time to wait for the ecosystem to build around the Cape Town Stock Exchange. And what I mean by ecosystem is that for a, an exchange to, to list, uh, to, to work, you need both buyers and sellers. Now, um, the Cape Town Stock Exchange simply didn't have enough access to the retail market that we are primarily looking to serve. Uh, So they've only got one retail brokerage uh, that's it's got, I would guess, around 4,000 members. Uh, Not even half of them are active. I needed a vibrant retail market uh, that the JSC affords. Um, And... Yeah, the JSC right now boasts in excess of 2 million uh, customers, uh, retail customers, most of them admittedly brought by, uh, you know, crowds like Easy Equities, who we partnered with on, on this particular IPO. Um, and immediately that strategy change paid dividends. Um, we welcomed over 2,350 um, new retail investors to the platform. Um, in a very short, constrained two-week uh, book build. So it paid off. The The strategy was instantly successful. And thousands of uh, investors put money behind the concept. And we're looking for thousands more, millions even. Easy Equities is an interesting story uh, because they too are a disruptor. Uh, is that part of the reason why you were drawn to them? Um, that. And we genuinely share an ethos with Charles and his team about democratizing access to um, financial markets and capital markets. And when people share a vision and a passion, uh, it makes the partnership discussions really easy and quick. And and so it was really easy to to partner with them and to work with them on on getting this IPO off the ground. Um, you know, Every obstacle was quickly overcome, and there were some. Um, but when you work towards a common goal, even from different platforms, um, those things are are easily those those hurdles are easily dismantled. You added a couple of big names uh, as far as the business community is concerned in Gigi Alcock and Stafford Marcy to your board of directors. Have they? had much influence in this decision or did they just come along for the ride? No, absolutely. Um, you know, I I was actually re-watching the, the, the clip um, and the commentary around that was, you know, we've appointed heavyweights, now watch the, the rocket ship fly. And Alec, what I can say is since the the, 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 jet, the, the guys joined the company and, and not just them, we, we had a an array of new appointments, uh, Kaya Satoli and uh, you know a few others. The business has just shot off. Our, our credit fund is doing incredibly well um, in terms of the impact it's it's creating. Uh, we've created more than five hundred jobs. We've given out loans to more than twenty SMEs, and have deployed as of today almost two hundred million in SME loans. Um, the guys, uh, you know, the, the the directors need to be cautious, and a big jump to the JSC was was obviously nerve wracking. Um, a lot of your reputation gets soaked up into the company, so they helped me navigate the minefield, the compliance, the bureaucracy, and all those things that that come with the listing. All of those things are necessary, by the way. Um, I, I think if 
if you want to be a custodian of other people's money, um, you need to be willing and able, uh, you know, to to comply with the laws of the land and and to do what's right and to ensure your governance and compliance is, is spot on. Uh, but to answer the question, the guys have been fundamental, uh, not to the, not only to the strategy, but in giving effect to. So, are you now going to be able to expand your vision of? bringing private equity to uh, or democratizing private equity. And I mean that because you've, you've got the, uh, the game reserve, uh, Mganu, you've got Bambanani. Are there others that you are, other companies that you're going to be able to bring in under the Altvest umbrella to uh, give them some kind of a public uh, ownership as well? Our, our, our strategy going forward is going to remain true to what we've said we've now got the tools to execute on it one of the criticisms we often receive is that i haven't listed as many companies that i i forecast or that i promised to the market now the problem was is that uh book polls in a scenario where you've got you know a very small audience of registered investors makes each one incredibly difficult um, and and near impossible. I now have removed all my excuses, and I now just need to execute. We won't only be bringing private equity to the business, uh, but we'll be bringing a whole range of opportunities for wealth creation. Uh, we've got our very next one is going to blow the minds of the South African public. We bring in an investment opportunity that is will be exclusive to South Africa for the next few um, months, if not years. Um, and uh, I gave a hint at, at what it might be in my in my speech this morning. Um, but yeah, we'll be waving that red flag uh, to a lot of South Africans soon, um, enticing them into that part of the world. Uh, but also, we, we now have the tools to legitimately and you know, raise public for businesses looking for equity. The credit fund is doing exceptionally well. So we have a thriving debt business. Uh, SMEs who are needing, in, in need of debt capital can come to us and you get a fully structured finance type solution. You get to meet the team. We go through the business with you. We sit and structure your, your, your loan package. And uh, we also say yes more often than we say no. And we, we don't often say no. Uh, it's mostly not yet. And we, we just want to help and, and get the country going. There's a renewed optimism, not only from consumers, but also in, in entrepreneurs. Guys are willing to take the chance and they need people to step up and, and back them. And that's precisely what we, we are aiming to do. So how did the listing go this morning? I was quite nervous, obviously. Um, there were always technical issues. For example, uh, you know, some investors can't see the shares in their accounts yet, uh, but that's par for the course. I'm way too old now to be too rattled by stuff like that, but we, we're trying to get it sorted. Then, of course, our, our tech issues. Tech has failed me completely this morning. Um, it was a beautiful event, though. Uh, the JSC were extremely welcoming. Uh, there was a vibe in the air. Uh, all our staunch supporters were there. So it was nice being in the company of friends and family and, and people who are only wishing you well. Um, and you, know, you can't put a price on that. Uh, it, it was a beautiful event. Very different to your Cape Town Stock Exchange listing. Um, and I suppose your experiences will have given you pause now when you look ahead, but help us, give us some insight into where Altvest will be in a year's time and the conversation that we have at that time, what we'll be talking about. Going forward, uh, we, we're going to look to aggressively move the needle on getting companies funded um, and to get companies out there and to get the economy moving. So, we are raising capital for the debt fund aggressively. 
um, and we are in talks with investors almost daily around supporting that initiative. So in a year's time, I hope to talk to you about us having dispensed a billion in funding to have created thousands of jobs and to have many, many repeat customers coming to us again and again for funding their business ideas. From an ex- for the investor who's looking for alternative investment products, we're going to slow down the pace. So I'm not going to be bringing little small companies. I'm going to be bringing themed investments uh, to the market almost every eight weeks. So our first theme is going to be a big one. Uh, it's going to be a very exclusive investment opportunity. Um, it will be an offshore opportunity. I'm sure you can start guessing what that offshore destination is going to be. But it's going to be an opportunity that... Red flag. <laughs> red flag. <laughs> red flag. It kind of gives it away, Warren. <laughs> but Alec, I like telling your listeners uh, in particular about what's coming first. You, you've always given us the most airtime. And I want to reciprocate that with them hearing it first. So in about three to four weeks, uh, we'll start announcing what that might look like. Um, And I promise you it won't be another MSCI index with exposure to China. Something a lot more exotic, something a lot more exciting, and something that could potentially be a lot more lucrative than taking an index position on listed equity. so that'll come. And then we'll bring themed investment opportunities to the market that support the underlying objectives. So we're working with GG on a township portfolio. Uh, I'm working with staff on a South African venture tech portfolio um, and themes like that where we can create big movements in the market and fund the entrepreneurs in those spaces um, like they deserve to be. And create jobs. Warren Wheatley, the founder of Altvest. I'm Alec Hogg from biznews.com.